Here's what we know. Police are asking for the public's help. The homicide happened in the 9200 block of South Tacoma Way. Tacoma's Jackie Kent was in Tacoma earlier tonight and has more details on how this tragedy unfolded. Police tape near a Tacoma hookah lounge parking lot marks where detectives are working to find out who shot a man to death before fleeing. I've never seen nothing like that and my, my prayers are with that, that gentleman and his family. Greg Lewis of Tacoma says he was riding his bike in the 5200 block of South Tacoma Way when he saw the massive police response, then the victim. It's getting out of hand everywhere and, and I feel like uh, why? Why? Why are people dying like this? Tacoma police tell us the man who died had tried helping a woman under attack. The victim was shot coming to the aid of a woman who was being assaulted by three other males. That woman herself was actually trying to assist another woman who was also being accosted by these three same subjects. TPD detective William Muse confirms this marks the 21st homicide in Tacoma this year. He adds the department is keeping up with its violent crime reduction plan after last year's dramatic spike in street violence. We are uh, putting officers throughout the entire uh, city uh, strategically to try and help curb uh, violence and um, these homicides. Uh, we've had some success so far based upon the numbers that we've, we've uh, obtained. As of now, officers have no shooting or assault suspect leads. Anyone with information about this case is urged to reach out to police. According to SPD, the suspect has been at Thunderbird Tavern before, and because of that, witnesses were able to help police identify him, which eventually led to an arrest. Now, some questions this morning still remain. What led up to the shooting and if the suspect knew the victims? We know the victims are two men in their 30s. Here's a look at some of the video provided to us by a viewer. You can see the large response from police and also Seattle Fire when the call came in around 830. Again, officers tell us it was all because of speaking to witnesses in the area that they were able to help find the gunmen. The victims were transported to Harborview Medical Center and then officers, officers actually um, were able to locate the suspect in a nearby residence. And they also recovered a firearm. Another big question as part of this investigation, was the shooting targeted? And the suspect will be booked in King County Jail for assault. Hi everyone, I'm Preston Phillips from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and Western Washington. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss our YouTube updates.